Hello, hello. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So I was reading a little notification that came out of my Google Hangouts. I guess um, this is going to be a bit of boring for a limited time, so we'll be finding another way of going live. Let me just go ahead and pull my video up so that I can see what you guys are commenting. Give me one quick segundo. Hopefully I can find it. We have Sassol in the house. And we also have Donna. Hey, Donna. And then we'll buy. See. <laughs> almost here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm finally here. Yay. All right, you guys. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of art journaling. I haven't done a video on art journaling in a little, you know, quite some time. Quite some time, it feels like. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I pulled out a whole bunch of different things. Um, some papers from my... Uh, digital papers that I created. These are all designed by me. Um, so we're going to be using some of those. We're going to be um, chopping them up. We'll see how we, you know, how we incorporate them. Um, we have some Tim Holtz papers that I went ahead and pretty much just removed uh, using uh, the wet brush technique. So got a few images there. We also have a timepiece or clock um, that I pulled from the backing of an embellishment set that I've received from Dorinda. So this is nice and sturdy. So of course I'm gonna use that. I made some uh, paste to go ahead and use with some stencils. We also have a napkin that I might or might not be using. I don't know, cause I kind of love this napkin. So I'm trying to like <laughs> see what happens. So I also got some stencils. Some of them are by Deco Art um, and some of them are by others. So we're gonna be using this one. It's gonna be a little bit eclectic. I don't know yet how it's gonna come out all the way. I also got some watercolors um, that we're gonna be using, some stamps. Um, I pulled some Dollar Tree stickers because I like the color scheme, so I was kind of um, inspired by these colors. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna recreate the whole thing. Um, so I got some Jane Davenport's as well. We also have um, some of the little bottles that I made. Again, remember this is the little bottles from Dollar Tree that I just purchased in my recent haul. Some of these have liquids, others have watered down acrylic paint, like this one has watered down chalk paint. So we're gonna be using that. Um, and I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get this started. Do we plan to share who we plan to share what? what? Oh, of course. You know, you can go ahead and borrow them. I don't mind. All right, so let me go ahead and group myself. Let me put all these papers to the side because the papers are going to be last. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. I don't need to worry about the color screen just yet. I'm going to go ahead and worry more about the stenciling since that I do have to dry. And then I'll fit in like all the stamping and all the other stuff um, that I'm going to be added to this afterwards. I got my uh, little heat gun already set up and ready to go. Hello, hello, Karina. So we're going to see where this is going to take. So, um, no. <laughs> so this um, little texture paste that I made is a combination of a little bit of plaster of Paris with some of the Americana decor texture um, paste that I just got. This is like a paste paint. It's like a really, really heavy acrylic. Um, super good for like doing stenciling, but I, I wanted it to make it just a little bit heavier. So I went ahead and mixed it. And I got a little piece of credit card here that I just went ahead and snipped. So I will do my best to, um, you know, answer any questions. Um, it's already drying as you guys can see. It's really, really thick. This is like a one-time use thing. You can't make this to store it. It won't like solidify all the way through and through. The stencil looks familiar. It might be. It is? You knew it. Why did you say nothing? 
So we're going to start with this. I have not primed or done anything to my paper yet. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get all this stenciling done. First, and then I'll figure out um, the just way, you know, afterwards. I don't think I've ever really used this um, stencil before, so I wanted to see how it's going to come out. Hello, hello, Isabel. How are you, my dear friends? You are here. You made it. It does a really nice job. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It does a really, really, really nice job. Um, let me see if I can maybe use the numbers in the bottom only. Hopefully you guys can see the whole thing. <laughs> Sending hearts right back to your love. So let's see. We're gonna go ahead and use this whole piece right here with the numbers and it says time action. Mm. Of course, it's got that vintage swag to it. So I shall put it back in my box. <laughs> I was not. That was actually in my stuff. So somehow I ended up in my thing. Otherwise, I would not have used it. Without at least asking for permission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, babe. Can I hold this for two seconds? <laughs> Can I hold this for two seconds? Hello, Michelle. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that. This stencil is done, and look, it they did a really good job. I like it. I like the paste. Um, I might be using my paste like that from now on. I think it'll be easier and probably more affordable than having to um, buy the big batch. So let's see, what else do I want? So I want to dry this first. Yeah, let me dry this. I'm gonna do. A little bit of drying in between you guys, so bear with me. Like I said, I mixed it with cement, so hopefully um, it'll dry fast. I hope. I do apologize for the racket. Super excited to see what this is gonna turn out like. Thank you, Isabel. At least dry it a little bit so that I can go ahead and put the other stuff to what I'm feeling like it's gonna smudge it out. I really want all this texture to show through, especially when I start using the little spray bottles. I don't need it to be necessarily super, super dry just yet. Let's go ahead and get the next rounds of layering in there. Here it is. Yes. Let's see where this is started. Let's put it right there. It's like a fishnet. So it's getting a little bit chalky already because it's kind of drying out. So I'm just going to try to smush it into place as best as I can. Let's 
different places here and there, here and there. <laughs> what happened? The monkey. That was the monkey. Oh. <laughs> I love monkeys. I don't mind. I like snakes and sharks, crocodiles, spiders. Me no like you. Me no like you. So, is there anything you want to share? Mm. Mm -hmm. About what's gonna be happening with your channel and stuff like that? Um, no, um, you know what we're gonna be doing? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's going on right now? I'm gonna take this moment real quick to share with this everybody. Uh, next Friday, I probably won't be going live. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pre-record my video. Carmen's gonna premiere the video, so she's gonna host it. Then the next following Friday, I'm not gonna go live. Carmen's not gonna go live, and we're gonna go live Saturday night. Don't know what time yet, and we're gonna do our first challenge. That's all we got planned out so far. Yes. That's what we have. Yeah. The reason I can't go live this Friday coming up is due to my work hours. I have to work at nighttime. So I won't be able to do it. But I will pre-record it. And I'm going to premiere it. And Connor's going to be hosting it. Yeah, I'll be on the chat. Yeah, so it'll still be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Then the next following weekend, like I said, I won't be going live. Connor won't be going live. And we're going to have our first challenge. Yeah. Yeah. We're back at it, you guys. Back at it again. So stay tuned for that. That's going to yeah. be awesome sauce. I love the stuff. I mean, you guys have probably seen me use it quite a, quite a bit. I love it. It brings peace to my heart. <laughs> love you. Love the vibe. Reminds me of like Jack and the Beanstalk. So you want to do that for me on Friday for me or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be in the chat. Right, Holding it down from this side of town. <laughs> While you're on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. I don't even need another one. I think that is good to go. Actually, I'm lying. I need more. Oops, sorry. Sorry, you guys. I need more. I need more. Right here. Going down. Let's fill this baby up. See if she can hold it. Because I might as well use all that paste that I have in there. Because it's just going to get hard like a rock and might as well use a lot of stuff plan. I love this pace. It's like really easy to control it. This is spread just everywhere. I like how it came out. I'm definitely going to be um, using it again. Or at least making it again, that's for sure. <clears throat> One thing that sucks is that it's like kind of um, short term. You gotta always make it, but it's not hard to make. Not hard to make it. It's kind of good because it doesn't run under your stencil unless you push it under there. It doesn't automatically just run under there like some. Um, 
like some mediums do when you go use them on stencils. This would be like the perfect blend right here. All right. Let's go ahead and add some more on this side. We're going to do this. Yes, it is. I got that from um one of those places over there. <laughs> <laughs> One of those places that takes a couple weeks to get here. <laughs> yeah. One of those places. But I got the merch. <laughs> I got the merch, so I'm happy. And I love the stencil. Some of them are a little too thin. The design, um, you can tell it's a little glitched. But some of them come out really good. Like this one came out really good because there's a lot of space in it. And you definitely want those negative spaces um, to be nicely separated with stencils. Or you have a big high chance of messing up your image. This one gave me a little bit of struggle, but it's okay. We're going to keep it and we're going to keep it moving. And we're going to dry this. And then we're going to go into collaging. And I'm going to see how long this paste glass. The container is not necessarily airtight. It's just a little plastic container I have in it. So let me just clean my hands so I can dry that. Was my little blue water. Okay. So let's try to dry that as best as we can without overwhelming you guys' senses. Here we go. I'm just smushing down anything that's sticking out too high up, like little granules. These are the parts that I usually speed up or cut out when I do my videos. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Because I don't know yet. Right now, I'm just throwing random things together and seeing what happens. What am I doing? I'm drying this stuff up. The chair will be there. This one's already dry. Okay. They go from like a gray to like more of a white once it's all dry. So they, be, they look more like the background. Except for these that are stained with something else. Probably a little bit of my blue water. <laughs> This blue water right here. I think the brush in it. <laughs> I haven't changed the water yet. That's what we're going to be using. Can't waste the resources. Hey, again, Donna. <laughs> Welcome back, lady. All right. Yeah. All right, so this is, you know, it's good enough, I think, for right now that I can continue to work on the surface. Because we still got a little ways to go. We still got some collaging and stuff to do. So let's go ahead. That's why I didn't even bother just doing the page first. Because I'm like, I'm going to be adding so many mediums and stuff to this. That God knows how it's going to turn out by the time I'm done. So let me go ahead and grab some of my little scraps. And again, I don't know if I'm going to be using the napkin because I do have quite a bit of pieces here. So we'll see. And let me flip this over. 
so they was gonna put the paper and everything with me for the store, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, the clock? No, it's not yours. Dorenda sent this to me. <laughs> My entry, okay? So let's see. A little clock. Um, give me some of that there. Yes. It's been a while since I've worked in my art journal. So I figured, why not? Why not? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we can do it, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to play around with this. Um, situation and see kind of like what happens. I don't really know yet, but we'll see what kind of comes out of this whole thing. Don't come back out. Like, I need you to stay there. I can't go yet. As long as you have wine. Thanks, Karina. You guys make sure you go check out Karina. She's doing art journaling, you guys. She's doing art journaling. Yes, she is. See. I guess I didn't cut as many of these as I thought I did. So I wanted to put this down instead of up. All right, so let me get this part of it going. Let me put these other papers. I'm going to be adding some of my papers too, but let me glue these in first and see where we go from there. Okay, we keep just flying off paper. All right. We're also going to be doing some stamping. So I got that out. I keep looking to my side, trying to see what the comments are. I got to keep this out. Girl, we all start somewhere, and you're good enough. You're just right where you need to be for right now. That's all you need to worry about. You're exactly where you need to be. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just dropping stuff. It's just that it's just raining craft. All over. All over. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need a brush. Where are you? Okay, everything else stay where you belong. My messy, messy little silicone brush. All right. So, let me go ahead and put a little bit of. We clean this out real quick. Okay. Got a little bit of blue. Right in that center. And that's deco art, decoupage. All right, so this I'm not going to put just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. And, uh, which way is it? <laughs> I think it's that. I'm 
collage like this? No, it's a tissue. Oh, tissue? Yeah, it's a tissue. 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 So um, it's going to be a little different depending on the tissue, but for the most part, you just have to really like be gentle and take your time and try to rub out all the air as much as you possibly can so that you don't have like rippled napkin. It can, and that's why you have to be like really, really super gentle. Mm -hmm. You have to be like really, really super gentle because of that. Yeah. Should definitely. I would love to see a series like on general art journal you know, with napkin and stuff. Yeah, you could definitely. There's look, there's napkin right here as an example of a vintage looking napkin. Okay, how about you don't? <laughs> Did you not hear my whole little speech yeah, at the beginning yeah. of the stream about the napkin? <laughs> I gotta see if I have another one. If I have another one, I don't mind sharing. But if I only have one, you're gonna get a photocopy. <laughs> a photocopy of a napkin. Of a napkin. Yeah. I'll print it on tissue paper for you. Mira. Who's not listening to me? Is that tissue paper or napkin? Um, the flowers, this is napkin. This is the Tim Holtz ideology collage paper. But it's like tissue. Um, I literally took all the images I would have brushed on this one. Super smooth to do as well. You can make a photocopy of anything. Yeah, you just put it in the scanner. It comes up, everybody got, um, there's certain tissue papers that I can like, tape to the paper yes. and put it through and it'll do it like that. It'll do it like, um, yeah, man. You know, MacGyver in these streets. <laughs> nah, really? No, I gotta check the inventory. Boy, yeah. <laughs> I gotta check the inventory, okay? I'll make no promises. Like that. I'll make no promises. All right. Let's see, can you guys see? All right, so I think I glued down all of those pieces so far. Um, let me see, I have a little birdie here. I wanna add this little birdie in. Maybe not, maybe I'll add them in all the way at the end if I feel like it, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I wanna tear some of this paper off. This is the paper that I've been using in my desk, um, the last project that I've been making. So as you guys can see, it's full of paint. It's got gesso, it's got texture to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip up some pieces and kind of glue them in. And I know I might be going over some of my stenciling, I'm okay with that. That way I kind of create my own um, background papers as well. So you don't always have to buy. This is literally the paper that I've been using to um, collect all the little, all the little odds and ends. So anything will do. Same. Did you guys get a chance to check out my latest video? Well, the second part. I put the first part up yesterday, I put the second part today. So that teacup canvas, isn't that thing like so super duper Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> hey Jackie, I didn't see you there.
I love how it came out. I have no idea like what I'm even gonna do with it at this point in time. Randomly facing it, whatever doesn't matter. Oh man, please, please <laughs> get it. <laughs> please, woman, please, what? What happened? All right, I think, I think that's it for that. Let me no ice cream today. <laughs> Sometimes we give it up. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll add this at the end. I think that's what I'll do. I'll add this and this and that at the end. Let me go ahead and dry this. So I can start adding color. Let's see where we go. Oh, we gotta do some stamping. <laughs> I almost forgot that. But I can't do the stamping over the blue with the wet blue anyway, so go ahead and do this. Let's see. I hope it comes out good. I'm gonna um, stamp it, then um, give it a quick clear coat of gesso, then start adding all the colors in. That's good enough to start stamping. And because I do have glue on my surface, I'm gonna go ahead and use Tazon to stamp out. Zazzle to stamp out. Um, so I have this in like a chicken wire. <laughs> oh, man, what you mean you're going to step me out? <laughs> Zaz, um, Staz on. Oh, my God, you take that T away and that's it, you guys. Look, Staz on. That song's official ink. <laughs> Let me know if anybody new comes in that I have not uh, read it. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and just, just whatever it'll stick. This is just to give it some kind of contrast here and there. <laughs> Filling some of those little openings. Okay. Huh? It is. I just, this is what I do. I put my thumb in the middle of the stamp and I put one finger on the other side. And then with the other side, I control the stamp, you know. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll see. Just a matter of a little bit more price. Just do it like that. Plus, I don't look to get the perfect image. Maybe you're looking to get the perfect image. And maybe that's why you're not satisfied with it. I, I, I like them broken. <laughs> I like them messed up, you know. I look for imperfection in the stamp when I stamp it off. I think that's fair. I like the broken patterns, the broken lines. Where's the top? Oh, I got it in my hand. <laughs> the broken mind. <laughs> Here we go. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and just with this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good though. I'm saying though. That's good though. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, there. Anyway, that's what's up. <laughs> All right, I'm just taking off whatever ink is still got a little shiny there, so you know that's that's on that's expansive. Mm -hmm. That's on is expansive. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and add a little bit of this clear um, gesso, and this gesso is by Finnebear. It is a clear gesso, very very light. I'm just going to spread this everywhere. Part of the reason why I use the Stazon ink as well so that it doesn't mix with the gesso so that all those patterns stay there. I hope to be able to still see some of this paper in the background, some of these patterns. You waste too much product when you use a tool. <laughs> it should come in a little bucket. A bucket, but you guys know I made no bottle. No pump no bottle. I can tip my brush. Oh. We lie on Saturday, man. Yes. Estamos aquí con ustedes. Representando. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It stays on, yes, yeah, it stays on. All right, so let's dry this up so we can start adding some colors and seeing some color magic happening here, like before our very eyes. Hmm? Let it be mad. Let it be mad. Chin chin, like my mother says. Un chin chin, that means a little bit. Alright, you guys, we're almost there, almost there. This laborious task of spreading this gesso. Thin this out. You can't talk to me anymore? Why? You're not interrupting my life. Come on, man. Join the party. Everybody. Time to party. <laughs> I know this is not sound like music, but I don't know. I can't help you guys there. All right, is this dry enough? Uh, I almost liked the better one I had to wait because then I didn't have to turn that thing on and be so loud. All right, so we did that. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Go ahead and see what we put as far as colors. So, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, um, I really um like the color scheme of the stickers. It's kind of like this kind of color scheme in a way, actually. That's why I pulled this napkin out because it reminds me of this 
come back to right here. Like the way that they look, you guys can see them look really similar in color scheme. So um, that's why I was like, I wonder if I can put this in there. But I don't know. We'll see. If I do, I'll probably add it at last minute, but maybe not. We'll see what happens. But this is kind of like the color scheme that I'm going for. So it's like burgundy, reds, blues, um, and whites. Something around that uh, color spectrum. So I got some blue. This is like a turquoise blue. This was this one right here, which is rose or rouge. It's a chalky paint. So that's this one here. I watered it down. And I got some black, and then I got my spray bottle here. I have my leaf blower there, so we're gonna get this thing together. And uh, let's get this party started. Are you the one that sent them to me, Donna? Maybe, right? Because you love Paris. Thank you. I love Paris. <laughs> and if it wasn't you, whoever sent them to me, <laughs> thank you. I love them. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a little shake real quick. And I'm going to open it a little bit and just start adding like little deposits of some of this color in some places. We'll see kind of like what happens. Just make sure you close it. I'm going to water this down. Because again, we want it to be translucent. We don't want it to be like, um, you know, really, really bright. I'm moving it around a little bit. I'm not going to be drying each single one. I'm just moving it because I'm going to be adding more colors to it. Kind of like how this goes. So let's go ahead and add some blue. Again, this is like a turquoise blue. This is a deco art um, product. Actually, I just had to switch the bottle because obviously the sprayer sometimes don't work for me. So I'm going to just add a little bit. Um, here. We'll put adding little bits and pieces as we go. Let's see how it all kind of comes out. Let me stand this book up. And this is why at this stage I did just so the page because obviously I was going to be using a lot of wet uh, sprays and stuff. Make sure you close those little bottles when you use them because it will drip everywhere. Let's go ahead and add some more colors here. Let's see, of course, you guys know I gotta add a little bit of that gold in there. So let's go ahead and add that. Water that down a little bit. This do something with it. This is kind of like very Fourth of July ish in color scheme so far, but this is not what I'm really looking for. So we are going to draw it down at some point. So, yeah, so having too much fun. I put my mixed media journals, any kind of journal that I use for mixed media to heck and back. I do not play games. <laughs> I put it to the test. All right, let's find another color. Um, I actually want to kind of sponge in maybe some white. If I can, we'll see. My bottle's kind of empty. We're gonna try to make it work. 
what I can scrape up over here. Does this fit? Okay, stickers stay still. Does it fit? Does this fit? Let's see. Okay, that fits. All right, let me get a little bit of white paint over here. So that I can kind of play around and um, soften up some of those colors a little bit. They're a little bright. They are a little bright. Uh, so let me use this little one and see if I can soften this up a little bit. It's beyond hard. Beyond hard. Let's see what I have over here. So, found him. Then I'm going to dry this up and add more. Thank you. It will, it will after I'm done. I know right now it's like, what are you doing, Carla? <laughs> It'll hopefully make sense. Once my mind tells me exactly what we're doing, because I'm still trying to figure out, I'm asking her, like, what's going on? But I always follow my instincts, so I'm just gonna keep it, I'm just gonna keep it going. And we're gonna see where we're gonna end up. I don't know yet. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna see where we're gonna end up at. Add a little bit of black. Pray for me. Do a little bit. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, you guys. We'll figure it out. Thank you, Karina. All right, let's see what else. There's definitely needs more. So let's go ahead and play with some watercolors. And let's start adding some more colors. Huh? That's a lot of colors. Yeah. That's a lot of colors. 
A lot of textures happening here, that's for sure. All right, this is looking hella crazy, but we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it pushing, you guys. The blues and the reds are so bold. Trying to mute it out a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get this moving.
this went a whole different direction, right? It's what happens sometimes when inspiration goes left, but you still end up in something wonderful. I like you guys can see everything that's happening there. All this dripping. I'm loving this right now. Look at that. The DIY version. <laughs> I think this paint is about done. I'm gonna start incorporating some of the other elements and stickers and, and stuff that I'm gonna be using in here. Can you guys see all that texture on there? That's such a mistake on the living box. Now let it dry. Sorry, you guys, it's taking just a little longer than I expected. We just have a few spots here that are still a little bit too wet. Love it. Nice. Very cool. There you go, Jackie. Half the work is done for you with the paper there. Now you just have to alter it here and there, get yourself comfortable with it. And little by little, just adding more and more and more and more. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. I think for right now, I'm definitely going to be doing more to this. But for right now, I'm going to leave it like that. I might add more other stuff here and there, we'll see. So I got these papers here. And I'm gonna see how I incorporate some of them. Let's see. This one. Definitely gonna use this little birdie right here. So let me just trim off this little birdie. And I'm not even gonna do like the whole, you know, perf perfect little um, cutout. I'm gonna leave some edges behind. Because after all, this is art journaling. You shouldn't expect perfection. This little flower patch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out. I'm gonna rip out all these little sharp um, edges that I got from the scissor. And we are going to add this in there. Okay. What else? Definitely drain the girl somewhere in there. I'm 
I don't like that. Yeah. Let's take the little birdie cow. I'll just use that and we got some thread. And let's go ahead and wind that up. Put my whole bunch of Okay, I'm going to hold. All right. I'm just going to thread this through here. Mm -hmm. If we can do a little makeshift bow, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Put this end back inside. Thank you. So I can go ahead and hang that through there. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Put that there. I need my blue. Let's go under this end. Give me some. Okay, let's see. Hi, Sue. How are you? Let's see. I'm going to put this thread right under this letter M. Let's make sure that it's hidden and not to be visible. Let's put this right there. Right there. So that's going to hang there. Um, make this one hang. Can you guys tell? Can Can you guys tell? I'm so inspired by my last video with the thread and the hanging stuff. <laughs> I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and thread this. And this oh, are you feeling better today? Thank you, Karina. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and trim this one. Let's put this one under the D. Get the glue here. Let's lift this D up. Hopefully, I'm still straight with the dream. Even if it's off kilter, we're still going to make it. All right. And then that go, can go there. Um, So for this, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down and then I'll add um, some other stuff to it just to kind of blend it in with the rest of what's going on over here. And hopefully you guys can still see enough of like the background papers and all that stuff um, in here. Hopefully you still can. I'm going to spread that glue out as far as I can, make sure I get to where I need it to go. Okay. 
And then, do that. I'm gonna spray that a little bit. Grab my brush. And that way I kind of also bring some of the feather colors into the scene as well. More. I'm gonna spray um, some white dots, some white paint, and I still have some left over here, so we're gonna use that up before it dries up. Okay, what's the next piece is gonna go on here is gonna be the bird. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bird, but with a different color. Yes. The bird. The bird is caught already. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, know but she's getting glued in as we speak. <laughs> she is getting glued in as we speak. So I'm gonna grab some black and I'm gonna put it right into that gold color. And I'm gonna go and outline the bird. And at the same time, create a little bit of shadow behind them. So let's see if this works. Adding a little teeny weenty bit of white. Just to give the bird a little bit more character. All right, so we have a bird. It looks like a bird. It's looking up at this tag, so it's either for sale or to be captured. So far, that's what we have. Um, let's see. I don't like that. Let me go ahead and add this feather. It's like she found this feather on her way. I don't know where. I want to add it, but I don't know where to add it. At. Maybe I won't add it. No. It looks like a turkey feather, too. For some reason, it reminds me of a turkey. So we're going to not use that. So let's see what else. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. So I added these little, like, um, other little digital things to this. I'm going to go ahead and use these up. I'm going to cut them and put them into my journal. Now, these are not ephemera sheets. These are actual, like, you know, you know, this actual digital papers or any design and stuff that you could use in your layout. But you could definitely um, feel free and cut out some of the images that are in there. Why not? Little bits and pieces, that's what it's made of. You definitely use up some of those little extra bits. So let's go ahead and cut that. Cut that. It is summertime, you guys in New York, so it's going to be lit, as my daughter says. 
it's gonna be lit. The streets are gonna be making a whole bunch of noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't find a barrel now. Don't you hate when that happens when you can't find your tools that you're looking for? Where's my white? Is that what I dropped? Was my white paint back there? Y'all? The big white gallon. I dropped it in it. So I'm going to have to use this. This is a little bit of that paste. I'm just trying to pick up some of the raised um, edges and make them brighter. So that you can kind of see all that stenciling that I did in the background. And at the same time, brighten up the pitch. I mean, kind of blend it out just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. I got some stenciling. I'm trying to find all the little all the little areas where I got stenciling done that so that I can go ahead and pass my finger through it catch as much of that texture as I can. This side. So if you guys are writing to me at this moment in time, I can't see it. See. What do you guys think? You see all of that texture coming out now? So this is just a fun little kind of page to do. Nothing too fancy today, you guys. Just some Dollar Tree stickers, a little bit of embellish, um, collaging, not embellishing, wrong project. A little bit of collaging, um, a little bit of spraying or adding color, watered down colors, working with uh, watering down your acrylics, really, um, or using watercolors if you have that. That's pretty much what today's um, project was kind of like about. I kept it really, really simple, I think. I really don't like this green bird, like, I don't know. Um, let's see, I think, 
I want to tie one of these little rows of birds, but I don't think I'm going to make these close to it. I'm going to add them to see how it works. I think I was just looking something else about my, how it looks here. Go ahead and let's try to follow the shape that they have. What do you guys think with or without? If I add here, here. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. But I do like this the way it's looking so far. Not a hundred percent like it in love with it, but I'll manage. I don't know what I did with my brushes. It's the only two I found that it was close by. So that and we're gonna be calling this one an early day, I think, today. The time is up. I think this was gonna be an early one. Hmm? Twenty minutes? Yeah. That's pretty that's that's fast for me. You should know that by now. That's fast for me. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to you guys. I think I'm probably going to not because my water, white water fell on. My white paint fell behind my desk, so I can't do that. So I'm going to splash it, but I won't be able to do that. Um, let me look over here and see if there's anything else I can add to it. If not, then I'm going to be calling this. Maybe that train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna mess around with some of these. Let's play with some of those. Okay, I'll pull a few of them out and add them here and there just to make the page feel more complete because it feels like it's missing something. And I'm like, Something fuzzy. You see, the quality of the video is going in and out. Okay. Yeah, it's missing, like, it's missing a whole bunch of stuff. So, we're going to see what we add from in here. These are my latest finds at Dollar Tree. And I like that one with the branch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out. And I really like that. So I think I'm going to. 
school today. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Today's the day. The Saturday. The I school think school I'm going to put it like go. right there. Uh, well, let me put it off this. That's right on the sticker. So the sticker itself kind of shows I'm trying to lighten up the area around it so that it stands out more because it's so dark and the tree branch itself is kind of dark you won't really be able to see it unless i lighten that up a little bit and i'm out of white oh i gotta go get some all right so we have that let's see let's put this one here I like this um, whole Good Times banner thing that it's got going on over there. I'm going to see what I can do with that. I don't even know if, oh, is that a sticker? Oh, just the banners. I like the line. I like the line. Hmm. Ooh. This should fit in there. Does that work? Nope, does not work. It does not work. Put it back there. Let's for today. Um, see that. <coughs> yes, love the Dollar Tree sticker. What? That's my favorite fantabulous. My favorite fantabulous. Let's see. Can I get away with putting a sun hat on the bird? No, this little hat's too small. Um, Okay. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully, right? I hope you can. Okay. We have that. It's missing something up here. So what we're gonna do? 
I think what I'm gonna have to do is get my white paint because I'm gonna have to add some strong some strings in there, you guys, because that's what my mind is telling me that it needs. So I'm gonna add it. So give me a second, let me get the white paint. I'm always back there somewhere. Why you gotta be so far? Let me get the umbrella. Give me a second, you guys. Let me pull my white paint because it's probably on my desk and I need it for the final touches. Oh, having to move stuff out of the way is not the most fun thing to do. Here we go. I got it. Okay. I got it, you guys. I got it. Tragedy averted. So I am feeling like drawing lines. So I'm going to draw some lines. I think that that'll help my, my mind be like, okay, it's full. I'm feeling like adding lines around that. More or less inspired by the little lines that are on here. And then maybe I can go ahead and add a little balance. So I'm going to try to draw those little lines. I don't know if you guys can see them. We're going to try to do that. We're going to try. Bring some paint out. And then we're going to call it a day. So hopefully I don't drop nothing else. Let me move the stuff out of the way. All right. So I'm going to move this. Put it kind of like at an angle for myself because I'm right-handed. So. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Mix it with that. Okay. So. Don't you just hate paint buggers? Go ahead and do that. My tip is really fine. Why is that doing that? It's fanning out way too wide of my brush. I need it to be a lot thinner than that. Same. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And um let's see. Just don't draw the lines. The lines kind of don't have anywhere to go, but they're just going to be there for decoration to look pretty for right now. We'll figure out what's what with those lines later. And then I'll add a little banner piece so that I 
to this and bring it all the way across the top frame up this journal page and I kind of like that a lot actually oh, I want I did my lead I'm just adding a fun little texture here and there. Um, I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to leave it like that before I overdo it. I will completely, completely overboard, which I do have a tendency to do. So we're going to leave it like that. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the final thing to do here is what? Oh, I'm a little good time sticker, right? Somewhere along this line over here. And we are going to put it where? Like right there. A little good time banner. Put that right there. I got the little dotting tool. Just gonna add a little dot of white to the bottom of these lines here. That one you can do. That one needs two more. Yes. See where else, where else? There goes the umbrella. <laughs> there goes the umbrella. Let's see. All right, so I like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Make this one bigger, just so there's a little variety. We don't want them all small. Make some of them bigger. All right, so. This is where we are. Okay, I think I need to stop. I have to force myself. I have to force myself, you guys. You know how that goes, right? You gotta force yourself sometimes to stop the page because otherwise you will never, ever, ever, ever stop. All right, you guys. So this is what I have created for you all today. This has been today's art journal page inspired pretty much by this word right here, the word dream and the color scheme. Um, I did capture some of the colors. I didn't get to capture them all um, quite the way I wanted to, but it's about practicing. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn how to, um, you know, create more watercolor-ish type of effects with the blending of the colors with bolds and stuff like that. So that's something that I'm working on now. Hopefully you guys like how the page turned out overall either way. And then you have fun hanging out with me as a song today. Yeah. Be on the lookout for next week, you guys. We're going to be making the announcement for the timing and everything as far as what we're going to be doing. Um, Sasson's going to be doing his, he's going to be premiering his normal live. So we are going to be recording his craft live. Um, it'll be me and him like we usually do. Um, the only thing is that we're going to be premiering it on his channel. So I'll be in the chat room. So if you want to stop by and say hello, you're more than welcome. We're going to, I'm going to be there. He's going to be unfortunately be working. Um, and then Saturday, we're going to be doing 
our first challenge. So on Saturday, we're going to be doing our first um, challenge comeback. We used to do these before, so we're going to be bringing them back. Um, I'll let you guys know, or we'll let you guys know when the date is coming, what exactly the challenge is going to be, but we're already discussing some ideas. Um, I think you guys are going to get quite a kick out of it. So definitely um, make sure to check that out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Make sure you check out the moderators, Isabel, Sasso, as well as everybody else that's here. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here and spending some quality time with me. I greatly appreciate you guys. You make it all worthwhile. Definitely go check out your local Dollar Tree and pick yourself up some stickers if you don't have them already. And if you do, now you know something you can do with them. Have fun and enjoy. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.